टू लाइन्स कौन सी बात कहाँ कैसे कही जाती है ये सलीका हो तो हर बात सुनी जाती है इट जस्ट रिमाइंडेड मी ऑफ अ वंडरफुल ग्रुप वंस आई बिलोंग वाइल आई वॉज पोस्टेड इन जोथोर लॉन्ग बैक इन 1986 my regiment was located in the located in the foothills of the ummed palace where we met weekly for the purpose of reviving the lost art of conversation we realized that there is a, a fundamental principle underlying good talk and this principle the basis of all good uh, manners is the simply depending on certain factors or uh, they are aimed for removing all kinds of uh, friction in a social uh, conversation socials get together removing all kinds of emotional friction caused by irritation boredom envy egotism or even ridicule the few golden rules what we had followed or it evolved from our weekly me- meeting i am going to share with you all uh, simply for a delightful conversation game which we play almost every day every moment when we interact with people first and foremost principle we followed was that avoid all uh purely subjective talks don't dilate on your health on your troubles on your domestic uh, matters and never 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 discuss your wife and husband such conversation my friends bore people and the talker generally he just keeps on repeating uh, repeating the same stuff which he which he has spoken already spoken and everybody knows about it nobody uh, learns anything from such conversation the first i feel we had a principle avoid all kinds of subjective purely subjective talks then the second principle we followed was don't monopolize the conversation one of my friend who was uh, who was uh, laughing uh, uh, every time and a very authentic person who told stories very well but too many of them had a uh, too many of them and we all uh, used to get tired and we all used to look for uh, any uh, uh, conversation which is uh, quiet and comfortable such people are generally branded as uh, people who think too little and talk too much there has to be balance i i told him that he was he has occasional flashes of silence but makes the conversation perfectly delightful third don't contradict you may say i don't quite agree with that but uh, flat contradiction in a is simply nothing but a conversation stopper my friend one should see Uh, seek to find points of agreement in any conversation and you see the difference and that is the uh, happiest conversation uh, where there is no competition but a calm quiet interchange of exchange of sentiments the next come don't interrupt while someone is talking of course when you have uh, when you throw a few grace notes into the talk such as how wonderful how sweet or okay uh, you mean you, uh, the, you, you don't you, as if you don't know it doesn't put the uh, train of conversation off the tr- off the track but to interpolate views of your own often leaves the speaker hanging uh, uncomfortably in a mid sentence bad conversation i feel then we have another simple and good principle that don't abruptly abruptly change the topic the subject or the topic some people patiently and painfully 
waiting for a talker to pause a moment and immediately jump into the conversation with a totally new subject bad idea in our conversation uh, club the get togethers it was an unwritten rule that after a person stopped talking there should be a brief silence in which to reflect digest and appreciate what had been said it is the proper tribute to anyone who has who has just offered an idea next principle simple show an active interest in what has been said this brings out the best in a speaker you need not only uh, uh, your ears to listen well but your eyes your hands your even posture also listens i have often uh, tested and uh, uh, written in one of my article and i have often i keep talking that by reading uh, aloud to friends what they said about it never helped much since one often like what another didn't but if their eyes went to a picture on the wall if their fingers fiddle i know uh, uh, that the manuscript wasn't holding their interest interest and marked the dull spots of revision there is no surer way to make people uh, like you than to pay them to uh, complement of interest and sympathy prolong their subject ask more about it and they are uh, and they expand it like flowers in this sand my friend don't ridicule anybody next principle after a diversion bring back the subject there is no surer test of being able to converse well than to reintroduce this forgotten topic my friend that is not only uh, this is not only polite but it is gracious but it is the best evidence of real interest of course if it is your own story it is futile for you to bring it back to persons who have bypassed it let it be but see that you don't commit their error next don't make dogmatic statements of opinion you see all of you must have read about this japanese tea ceremony read some time you'll find it in youtube and so many articles are beautiful you see it perhaps the most ref- refined social uh, uh, form ever practiced it's a cult of self effacement one of the rules con- uh, concerns conversation uh, it is considered vulgar to make any definite or decisive uh, statements one may speak of anything but never with an expression of finality the remark is left up in the air for the uh, next guest to enlarge upon so that no one is guilty of forcing any person opinion upon the other it's a wonderful game a wonderful idea but it's certainly difficult try it sometimes with your friends my friend you may state fact as facts but you uh, but your application of them should be tentative with such qualification as it seems to me or isn't it possible that those who really know things usually speak thus with meekness of wisdom while the igno the ignorant is always for cut and dried pronunciations pronouncements next principle i feel is speak distinctly i was fascinated by the fact that people who speak slow slowly and clearly they generally dominate all kinds of meetings if you observe a group talking you will find that the one with a, a low controlled voice always get, always gets the most respect the eager temperamental condemns the, the uh, dash up against it like waves against a rock and the rock always wins lastly i the principle we followed very sincerely we avoid destructive talks very important no unnecessary uh, degrading uh, remarks against anybody who are present or even not present 
no criticism against anybody present or, or not present unnecessarily it doesn't help it's best to ignore and curb your desire to uh, raise laugh through ridicule on someone else's cost and the verse is tendency to look on unpleasant sides of life rub on salt and somebody's un uh, unpleasant uh, part of uh, his or her life simply avoid not done being uh, avoid all kinds of cynical comments i feel in our uh, conversation we practiced it it may sound sometimes the cynical comments may sound uh, clever but let me tell you they offends everybody so i'll sum up the secret of a good conversation is very simple to talk well one must think well like any sportsman you see they are not bothered about win or lose they think and discuss the team's potentialities they discuss the characteristics and unique strength of each player different players and use them accordingly they discuss and think about the technique of the game they will ultimately uh, they win and same things can be applied principles can must be applied in all kinds of conversation my friend enlarge your interest by making acquaintances engage in pers pursuit other than the your own knowledge whatever you know step into other arenas be curious for knowledge outside your range of knowledge read the stuff you are uh, interested in know more about it no more have more views about it every new experience my friend will make you uh, you make your talk more interesting as certainly more valuable thank you very much